what is CoQ10 and should you be taking it to help your fertility? Hi friends, I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford. I'm a board certified OB2YN and REI, so I'm a fertility doctor. And I talk about tips to help you have your best, healthiest self, understand your body and your fertility. And today we are gonna go over one common supplement, which is called CoQ10. Before we jump into CoQ10, really quickly, want to say a huge thanks for all of your support on this channel. Would love if you would hit subscribe, if you would like, if you would share, and leave a comment because I get all of my content ideas directly from you. CoQ10 is an antioxidant, and it's an important coenzyme, which is what the CO stands for, in vitamin E metabolism. And really what it is important for is what we consider energy production inside the cell. If you remember way back when to biology, you learned about the cell and you learned about the mitochondria inside the cell, you might remember we always say the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, meaning it creates all of the energy inside the cell. And if your whole body is made up of cells, your cells are constantly having to repair and cells are dividing and growing. So having stable, good functioning mitochondria is really important for your overall health but also for your fertility. When it comes to thinking about your mitochondria in general, one thing that causes aging, when you think about what is aging, it is the inability of our cells to repair themselves like they used to. And a lot of this is from mitochondrial damage. If you think about a powerhouse of the cell, whether it's an engine or a factory, the older it is, the less it's going to work as good as it used to. So the same thing starts to happen. And when we talk about how do we support that, antioxidants are an important part of this process. And that is because inflammation is something that can be really toxic to all of our cells. It can be the lead start to a lot of disease. And we do know that it can impact your fertility as well both egg quality and sperm quality. CoQ10 has been studied to be helpful in a lot of different potential disease states, whether it comes to cardiovascular health, bones, joints, muscular health, and neurological disease. But it has also more recently been studied for fertility purposes. And this is more in the past decade. So a decade ago, somebody may have said, no impact, not gonna help. And now we have accumulating evidence of data that the choices you make do impact your fertility on a daily basis. And this includes the foods you eat, how much inflammation your body is exposed to, and supplements can help. Now, supplements are never mandatory. And I always want to give a big disclaimer that not all supplements are created equal. Some supplements are combined with things that might not be the best for you. And you should always check with your doctor or your care team before you start any given supplement. We'll take CoQ10, for example has very few actual side effects, but it can interfere with certain medications. One important medication is one that's called warfarin, and this is an anticoagulant, it's a blood thinner. So if you are on a blood thinner, we want it to thin your blood. So it's very important that you always discuss any supplement with your doctor. Sometimes patients think that, oh, it's a supplement, not a medication, I don't need to bring it up, but you should always bring it up. CoQ10 has been shown in fertility studies to be helpful when it comes to IVF outcomes. Now we have to remember that fertility can be studied in a lot of different ways, whether it's your time to pregnancy, but one more discreet way that we really try to evaluate egg quality or sperm quality can be with a surrogate marker of how did your eggs and sperm do in the lab, how many embryos were genetically normal, how did you respond to ovarian stimulation? And IVF studies have shown that CoQ10 can be beneficial in improving the number of mature eggs and improving the number of embryos and genetically normal embryos. We also know that it can be important in sperm because if your body is exposed to inflammation and oxidative stress, you need to have an army to combat that. And your army includes sleep, vitamins and nutrients through your food, possibly supplements and avoidance of toxins. So of course, this isn't the one way to do it. There's no magic pill, but CoQ10 can be a beneficial part of the equation. Because women are born with all the eggs they're ever going to have, you've heard me say that those eggs, I like to imagine, are in a vault inside your ovary. So they are sitting there your entire life, exposed to the wear and tear of your life, and the DNA inside each egg starts to degrade over time. The mitochondria inside the egg are responsible for the cell division that allows your eggs to split into the half that has the DNA, and poor functioning mitochondria are associated with an increase 
in DNA abnormalities inside the egg. So if we're supporting the mitochondria, we are supporting the egg having more stable DNA. When we talk about CoQ10 dosing for egg quality, we usually recommend 400 to 600 micrograms a day. This is just because that's what has been studied in fertility-based studies. Importantly, CoQ10 has a role when it comes to sperm. In contrast to eggs, eggs are there accumulating damage. Sperm is made every single day, 1,500 sperm a second, millions of sperm daily. And they're very fragile and very sensitive. Sperm quality, concentration, motility has been associated with inflammation and oxidative stress, meaning more oxidative stress, worse sperm quality. And CoQ10 has shown to be a potential option to help improve this. Of course, similarly to eggs, trying to reduce inflammation in your life is always going to be the best. Prevention is always key, but adding on CoQ10 can be an extra way to try to help get there, especially if you're having infertility or going through fertility treatments. The dosage for sperm quality is 200 micrograms a day. So important to note, there is a little bit of a difference there. If we summarize CoQ10 as a supplement, it can help in part of the vitamin E utilization of metabolism, meaning it helps support cells utilizing energy and stabilizing the quality of the DNA, specifically in your eggs and sperm. And that's why in fertility studies, we have seen it associated with improved pregnancy rates and improved embryo development rates in both IUI and IVF studies. So from both the eggs and the sperm. Fertility is a team sport, so it's rarely just the egg's fault or just the sperm's fault. We wanna really make sure we're doing what we can. There are plenty of people who do not take CoQ10 and do fine. My general approach though is that if you're having trouble getting pregnant, if you're going through fertility treatment, if you are maybe getting started at an older age or you have a known other inflammatory disease or disorder or something that might make this harder, I like to stack the vote in your favor. So healthy lifestyle choices, decrease inflammation, and CoQ10 is a part of that that I recommend personally for my patients. Now, of course, it's important to say that CoQ10 can be intake through food as well. So this can be with fatty fish, meats, organ meat specifically, but you can also get it from plant-based sources. So vegetables like spinach and broccoli and cauliflower, fruits, strawberries and oranges, a lot of oils, legumes like soybeans and lentils, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. So Diet is also one way that you can intake this. And an important note is that at least in studies done with CoQ10, the body can utilize both dietary sources and supplement sources. So hopefully this helps you understand CoQ10, why it is sometimes recommended in the fertility sphere and how it might help with egg or sperm quality. If you have any questions, please ask below. As always, you can get more information on the As A Woman podcast or follow along on Instagram at Natalie Crawford MD. Thanks, friends.